G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix, and today on Let's Remember, we're going to be having a look at a little game called Captain Comic. Oh, alright, we're right on the story page here, because that's kind of what it boots to. Entering orbit around planet Tambi, Captain Comic Galactic Hero prepares for his impossible mission to recover treasures stolen from the planet Omsok. Armed with only his courage, he enters the teleport chamber. Okay, and this is a page of all the stuff that is in the game, I guess. Ah, oh, beautiful music. I love it. Amazing. Okay, so this is Captain Comic. I played this once when I was a wee lad, and I didn't get very far. Didn't really interest me much, but now I'm revisiting it. What can I tell you about this one? It was developed by a guy called Michael Denio, I believe it's pronounced. It was released in 19... 1988. He released it uh, for free, I think. No, he released it as shareware. And it was... Let's see here. It was one of the very first side-scrollers ever released for an IBM PC. So, yeah, 1988. This is, I think, the oldest one I've ever looked at on this series so far. So that would explain the kind of, uh, you know, explain how it looks. It's, it's not pretty. I mean, it's not horrible or anything. But, uh, yeah, so... Not really sure what exa exactly my objective is here. Oh, I get fireballs. Okay. I can jump. I can shoot a little fireball and kill these innocent birds. That's always fun. Uh, what else can I do? Mm, doesn't look like I can do anything else. Uh, I can tell you what irritates me about this game and the previous game I looked at, Dark Ages, is that almost half the screen is taken up by inventory and stats like statistics and stuff like that which is unnecessary but you know it's alright it's an old game you can't criticize it on everything I don't know what my fireball meter up there means exactly you know you'd think it would uh, tell me how many fireballs I have left but but it doesn't seem to ever go down. If I shoot a fireball, it just flashes for a second. And I have a shield meter as well. Uh, that indicates how much, how much health I can, t I have, or how much damage I can take. And underneath that, oh my God, there's so many birds. Why are birds my primary enemy here? Die. Underneath that, I've got like an inventory type deal. It says I have one. Fireball? I don't get it. I have infinite fireballs, apparently. And what's under that? I've got... Copyright 1988, Michael Denier. Okay, I didn't need to read off a piece of paper. It tells me everything right there, and I found a key. Sweet. I'm gonna guess. Key opens door. Perfect. One. What does one mean? Is this level one? Was that bird area or a hub world? What are these things? Like atoms or something? Molecules? They are pissed off? Whatever they are. Ah! Alright, that wasn't pleasant. Can I go in this tube? No, no tube access. Please? Nope. Doesn't seem like anything lets me go in these uh, tubes. Uh, underneath the gameplay screen, also a bunch of Oh, I can't go this way, okay. A bunch of Captain Comic heads. I assume that represents my lives. Now that's all the basics covered. Let's let's talk about what's going on here. I am Captain Comic. I don't know who that is. I mean, I'm looking at him, but is he meant to be a superhero or something? Why is it comic? Like, is this guy... Ooh, okay, I'm dead. Does this guy have read a lot of comic books and he's the captain of them maybe he's the captain of a comic book appreciation appreciation society I don't know who this man is 
I know he can shoot fireballs, and he he has a disposition to hating birds, I guess. But that's not unjustified. They do try to kill him all the time, apparently. And I don't know what the hell to do here. I'm pressing every button that the game said was a button. So you know what? I'm going to head back out this door and see where else I can go. So yeah, this is very basic fare. Very simple platforming goodness. Okay, what's in here? Oh, wow, this environment's more interesting. We get an actual background instead of just blackness. Oh, what is that? Okay. There's not much going on here. Is there anything? Oh, look, another thing. What is that? Fly. It plays a little, a little musical piece every time you enter a new, a new screen, I guess. Well, not a new screen. A new area. I don't. I don't know. Man, these enemies are uninspired, though. We're dealing with uh, fireballs, birds, and insects mainly. Isn't there anything more challenging I can come up against? Oh, okay. Come on, Captain Comic. Get to the stuff. Succeed in your quest. I please beg of you. What am I saying? I'm still recovering from a uh, nasty cold, by the way. I don't mean to whinge about it all the time, but that might explain some of my strange language and commentary choices the way I speak ah all this shit's up here I'm kind of like a bit drunk in a, in a sense I'm kind of like middle aged white guy high on like NyQuil and stuff so bear with me what is that? that's a soda can I think I grabbed one of them earlier and I thought it would give me health, but it did nothing. Two of the moon. Oh, yes. Oh, God. No, I wanted to go on the moon tour. Why? That's okay. We can get back there. We will not deny you your moon touring, Captain Comic. Yep. Okay. There isn't, there isn't a whole lot to say about this. Oh, wow, my gun changed. Oh. Okay, so on my inventory type screen, it says three under the fireballs. So that means now if I hold down the button, I can shoot fireballs in bursts of three. And now I'm seeing if I hold it down too much, the meter gets depleted. So I can't just fire all the time and have a good time. I have to be measured in my fireball expenditure to the moon wow it's just an elevator it's like a I thought it was a rocket you tricked me but it's literally just a rocket shaped elevator to the moon now we're on the moon nothing unusual about that and our primary enemies have become oh shit I fell in a hole well now I have four fireball powers how did that happen? I gotta pay more attention. Um, oh, the gravity is different as well. I appreciate that. That's a nice touch. Why are there cactuses on the moon? And by the way, I believe it is pronounced cactuses. The correct word is cactuses. I think, I think, I might be wrong, but I think it was decided that cacti is a, is a misnomer of some sort. I'm probably fatally wrong and I'm embarrassing myself right now, but I don't know. I don't care. Oh, okay. This game, uh, by the way, was not very successful financially. It wasn't released for free, like I may have accidentally said. The guy did try to charge money for it and it wasn't popular. 
Where in the money? Um, sorry, I had to. Uh, oh, there's a lot of umming and ahhing going on here, because I'm a bit lost and confused. No, as I was saying, it wasn't financially successful, because... I don't know. I couldn't tell you why. It's not bad, it's... I know it is bad by our standards today, but for the time, it's standard. I mean, it's decent. It's decent. 1988, you didn't have a lot of options. There are... You know, you could do a lot worse than Captain Comic. I would say Dark Ages is worse, but it, it's not. It's kind of unfair to not crap all over this game when I kind of talk shit about Dark Ages. But I'm too tired to be angry today. It's not very... It's not a very good game. I'm contradicting myself over and over again. I'm saying, yeah, it's, it's, it's alright, it's, it's standard for 1980. It's, it's crap. It's like Dark Ages, which was crap. Just ignore everything I say forever. And watch me jump around and shoot fireballs. What was that? At innocent birds and strange insects. I don't know where I am now. I'm in some kind of space facility and obviously it has its own has its own air pressure because it has its own atmosphere I mean oh okay because I can't jump high anymore there is no low gravity inside the space colony center which is infested with oh wow that's concerning there are holes and cracks in the space center I wonder what happened here Something horrible, I presume. All the inhabitants of the space center have been killed by ravenous insects. Da -da 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 -da. Ravenous insect creatures and roly poly blue balls of death. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Captain Cop. Okay, okay. I'm sorry for defending this game, it's bad. It's bad, I'm gonna say it. But, you know... I could just keep walking back and forth here, listening to this fantastic song. Is that annoying you? That's a horrible fucking sound, I'm sorry. I had to just do that. How do I get up there? Come on, let me up! Does Captain Comic have any special powers that I'm not knowing about? No. So I just went all this way for nothing. <sighs> I'm about ready to give up on you, Captain Comic. Maybe I can get Game Over and we can at least have a look at the Game Over screen. Maybe there's something interesting about that. Because this is very unremarkable. Oh, there you have it. Captain Comic, game over screen. There he is, looking pensive. And there's also a can of drink. Add to your name! Okay, put me in the highest score list, baby. 73,400, I challenge you to beat that. Oh god, the screen! Ah, oh, and we've crashed. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna call it a day here. That was Captain Comic. Another very unremarkable DOS game. I'm sorry to bore you with these substandard entries, but we gotta have a look at all aspects of the uh, DOS lineup of game history. It wasn't all peaches and cream and roses and unicorns and, and broccoli stalks. But uh, yeah, leave a like and, and comment or subscribe or whatever. I feel kind of stupid hustling you to do that every time, but you know, it genuinely helps. And I will see you next time when we can hopefully look at a, a good DOS game for a change. Because these are killing me. They're breaking my heart. Goodbye, everybody.